आदरणीय अध्यक्ष जी ये सदन से विदाई लेना एक बहुत ही भावुक पल है परिवार भी अगर पुराना घर छोड़कर के नए घर जाता है तो बहुत सारी यादें कुछ पल के लिए उसको झकझोर देती है और हम जब ये सदन को छोड़ के जा रहे हैं तो हमारा मन मस्तिष्क भी उन भावनाओं से भरा हुआ है अनेक यादों से भरा हुआ है खट्टे मीठे अनुभव भी रहे हैं नोकझोंक भी रही है कभी संघर्ष का माहौल भी रहा है और कभी इसी सदन में उत्साह और उमंग का माहौल भी रहा है ये सारी स्मृतियां हमारे साथ हम सबकी साझी स्मृतियां हैं ये हम सबकी साझी विरासत है और इसलिए इसका गौरव भी हम सबका साझा है Will the Prime Minister, in his first speaker, because he is the leader of the House of Lok Sabha, the Prime Minister spoke extensively about the 75 years of Indian democracy. Many important highlights of the speech, but it was emotive because he also spoke about his journey from a humble worker or tea seller at the Vadnagar railway station in Gujarat to when he became the Prime Minister of the country and entered Parliament for the first time ever in 2014. He talked about the many trials and turbulations inside the Parliament. he talked about the parliament attack saying that attack may have been uh, uh, taken place but as far as the institution of parliament is concerned that has never been harmed he also spoke about the green revolution and interestingly the cash for votes which is seen as a blot on india's parliamentary democracy these were the references that he made to but he also paid a tribute to what he called the shramjeevis those who have been responsible for the walk- working of the parliament and also the journalists the watch and watch staff the security and And so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, underlying the Prime Minister's speech has been "Ek Bharat, Shreesh Bharat." That is, Parliament epitomizes the what India is all about, what democracy is all about. That despite the tugs and pushes and pressures, democracy in India remains resilient, and that is something which India should always be proud of. And as we make that transition from the old Parliament building to a new Parliament building, the Prime Minister reiterated the fact that this is something we one should always remember. India's democracy and its contribution to the world that has been one important factor which the prime minister highlighted on and of course we had talked about uh, uh, just to make some quick points he also made a reference to all those people uh, who have been identified with India's democracy and parliament for example all the former president right up to the present president how they have been chosen the kind of groups they represent the aspirations the beliefs that they represent that is also something uh, he had spoken about he recollected the work of bala saheb shama prasad mukherjee and of course the nehru's uh, words atal bihari vajpayee's words all of this he spoke about in his speech he also talked about the various personal journey that he went through but he began his speech by talking about the success of the g20 meet that is what has done india proud we have stood proudly to the world and there's lot of message that we has given to them in fact before he started speaking inside the parliament outside he gave his mandatory sound bite where he talked about the fact that this is not a time to cry rona dhona chalta rahega but at the same time we have to look at an aspirational india he spoke about chandrayaan mission he spoke about g20 and the fact that in the present times this is what needs to be remembered that these are good times there's plenty that we need to be happy and proud of and as we make that transition from the old to a new building this is the take away which should be having so not not the prime minister's speech was emotive it was like a leader a statesmanship like a speech and there were no barbs which was being taken at any other political party